guys, back with another video. And we're gonna start with brows as always using precisely my brow pencil in shade five because my brows are dark, you know? Okay, so I'm just going to fill these in real quick. Go towards the tail, blend it out. You guys know the drill. I just like to include brows because I know that you guys like that I include the brows. So just gonna do short strokes, blend it out. And then I'm gonna use this new 3D Tones by Benefit, and it's purple. It gives you like a little bit of color. Nothing too crazy that I, I thought it would be a little bit more vibrant, but I guess you can put as many coats as you want. And I'm just going to set them with the Anastasia Brow Gel. I'm going to conceal the brows now with Tarte Shape Tape. And I'm using an E15 by Sigma, which is my new favorite brush to conceal with. I decided I should stop using the other one, even though it is my favorite. I feel like it's not existent anymore, so why use it? You know what I mean? Because I want you guys to be able to get everything that I use for the most part. So I'm just going to clean the other brow up as well, and then we're gonna move on to the base. Using the new P. Louise base, and I am so obsessed with this base. I'm using a 15 brush by Anastasia. And I'm just going to pat this all along the lid. Make sure it's pretty even. Um, so I've heard this brush is also amazing, and I think it's pretty good. Um, it's you know, like every other concealer brush I kind of feel like, but I guess because it's a little bit smaller, uh, you have a little bit more control with it, which I could totally see. So I'm gonna put a good layer and then just blend it out with my finger a little bit. You wanna make sure you have a pretty opaque layer because I feel like that way, everything will just blend a lot easier. The palette today is the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette and I'm grabbing Cashmere Bunny and a 2.2 Samey brush and we're going to use this as our transition color for the most part, just blending it back and forth so we have a little bit of depth, depth, not depth, depth in this eye. So I'm just blending it back and forth, just making sure it's nice and smooth and this base, I think this was like the second time I used it and I just became super obsessed. Super obsessed. I'm gonna go in with chocolate martini and first I used it dry because I figured let me see how it works out dry. I always try to test you know shimmer shadows out first while they're dry. I felt like it didn't have enough oomph so I wet it with the Tarte setting spray and then it just became this beautiful metallic and I kind of just sharpened it as much as I can but softened the outer edges because I like the way the sharp you know inner corner looked but I wanted the outer edges to kind of blend out especially when I have you know that transition color I just wanted everything to blend out as much as possible but look how different the shadow came it's like a different world using sex espresso I'm just doing a liner nothing crazy I started off dry but then I decided to wet it a little bit just so I could have a little bit more control and then I just wanted to kind of bring it up and kind of smoke it out. So I'm just using a Tarte liner brush with this and just softly blending in. I feel like with this kind of brush you have a lot of control with. So yeah. For mascara, using Better Than Sex Mascara. Haven't used this in forever. And then when Too Faced sent me this, I was like, oh, I'm falling in love again. But still, I feel like Tarte still has my heart with that Tarte mascara. But this definitely improved. I feel like these used to flake on me really bad, these mascaras, and this one didn't and hasn't, so pretty impressed. For lashes, I'm using Gigi Bell Lashes and Lexi. Don't forget, you guys can get 20% off using code SUBBY. The link is down below. Popping them on with some Huda Beauty glue and some Sigma tweezers. And we're just gonna make this look more lovable. Starting the face, I'm using the Photo Finish Primerizer by Smashbox. Just loving that moisture going into the skin. And then I'm using, for the first time, the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow and the Magic Foundation together. Lord, this is such a beautiful lotion. Gives you an insane glow. And I feel like I'm probably going to use it all summer long. Look how pretty that is. And it's like not glittery, which I love. I'm using the Magic Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury and the 3D HD Kabuki Brush by Sigma. I'm just blending it out. I'm in shade 7. And this is also the first time I'm using this uh, foundation, which I actually really liked. 
I've heard great, great things about this foundation, so I decided to grab one. And I'm using the KKW Beauty Concealer for the first time. I believe this is shade 8. And I'm just going to conceal and blend it out with a Tarte Quickie Blending Sponge. This was also the first time using this. I had a lot of first impressions um, with this one. I like the concealer, I will say. I do like it. It definitely brightens you up. But I did notice some patchiness after setting. So you have to like set it pretty fast, I feel like. And then you should be good. I'm using the NARS Creamy Concealer in Custard because I just wanted to brighten the inner, inner corners. I learned that from Katie. I feel like she did that and I just was like, ooh, I really like the way that looks. So why not try it out? I'm super setting my concealer with some Kat Von D Lock It Setting Powder. And I'm doing a serious, serious line underneath the cheekbones. I really wanted to be contoured, I guess. I'm using Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Powder, bronzing powder. And I'm just going to blend out that line and then just really pack on some bronzer. This was my favorite. I mean, it's still probably one of my big favorite bronzers, but I haven't used it in a while. So I'm just putting that all over the outsides of the face and then on the nose a little bit and the chin. And then I'm going to use the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Bronzing Powder, which I was afraid to use because it's sparkly, but it actually gives you a really nice glow without being like too glittery. So I just kind of put that in some areas that needed some warmth. And then I'm using these two colors with a E21 from Sigma, and I just smudge them underneath. Putting on some mascara, getting it on my nose as always, just waiting for it to dry, then I will take it off. And then I'm going to use the Tarte Captivating Blush with an F10 from Sigma. And just to dye it down a little bit, I just kind of blended it out with the Quickie Blending Sponge. Now I'm taking these three shimmer colors, I'm using a shader brush by Sigma and just putting them in the inner corner and on the brow bone as well. And I also use these three as a highlight because it just looked super pretty. I mean, you can really use anything you want as a highlight. You can use eyeshadow, you can use, you can even use lipstick because it has that like nice consistency will, that will blend and look like a cream highlighter. You really can use anything that you like. And that's what I like about makeup because you can really it's not one thing that's specific that you have to use for, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Alright, going off on tangent. I'm using Jeffree Star's Leo Liquid Lip and then setting with Tatcha's Dewy Mist Spray. And that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this bronzed, smoky eye. Oh, I was just in the mood for some bronze, you know? I mean, why not? Hope you guys liked this video. If you enjoyed it, thumbs it up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Love you guys. Bye.